starting today off with some eggs and some oatmeal, but uh, I actually am not even really hungry because I just got some bad news. One of my buddies had his car stolen over the weekend, just found out, so I'm gonna give him a call, see what's up. What's good, bro? Hey, man, what happened with your car? I go play pool every weekend at a local bar. I have a buddy uh, that I shoot with there. Right. And I always set my uh, pool case and my keys down. This bat table was secluded. Some drug addict, and uh, I come to find out, some drug, drug addict stole my car, took off with it, so I reported to the police, and they went nowhere fast with it, so I had to get a rental car, and I tracked the dude down. He's a county away, and... Uh, take care of it myself. But I got the car back, however, it might be totaled. Wow, so you actually had to confront the dude yourself. Are you telling me you had to go old gangster Luke on him? <laughs> I came out of retirement real quick. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, hey, I'm, I'm gonna hop off here. Uh, well, I'm glad you got your car back. Glad you're okay. I will holler at you here in a little bit, all right? All right, later, bro. See you, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I guess if you take anything away from this, don't uh, leave your keys sitting around. Keep them in your pocket, because you never know who can steal your car. Whew, crazy morning already. Let's see. The support on the last video I put out is insane. Within the first 60 minutes of the video being up, we had over 200 comments, and I just checked, it's been up for like four hours now, we have like 550 comments. You guys are incredible, and I promise I'm taking all your comments into consideration for this logo design. Literally though, right now, it's kind of hard to see. I think number one, logo one is winning, but um, there's some strong love for two and three, and there's some good suggestions, so uh, I'm gonna take all that into consideration, but yeah. Thank you guys. You got, Without you, I would not be motivated to keep doing what I'm doing. So, right now, it is leg day. I know, dun dun dun. That's always a place for my head when I know it's leg day. So we're gonna go get that in. Keep this day rolling, baby. Let's go. one heck of a way to make an entrance. You gotta show up with a clean car. Anyways, guys, leg day. <clears throat> okay, cool little leg exercise. If you don't wanna do standard barbell squats, get yourself a Smith machine right here, and then we are actually doing a Julian Smith style workout. So basically, you're doing squats, but you're gonna keep your feet placement tucked in together, and as you go down, you're gonna keep your knees and everything in, and you're gonna go down, up, down, up, and do your squats that way. I'm telling you, if you want a little bit of a variation on that movement, you wanna be sore tomorrow, do these. <laughs> Game changer. <laughs> a little hard to stand straight after that leg workout. The goal today was to like do different styles of exercises, get away from the norm and really see if I couldn't make myself sore. So that was a success. And then this week I've been grinding every single day, really trying to make all my dreams a reality. So today we had another big thing happen and through Pure Bollocks we launched a new flavor of protein. So let's go to the warehouse and check it out. I am glad I got here in time. He was texting me telling me how crazy it was. I didn't realize. I told you, man, I told you. <laughs> what we had going on. So uh, basically since we started this company like month over month, Month, like we've been getting better and better having like higher revenue months and we just launched this flavor yesterday what's the flavor big dog strawberry shortcake there we go just like mama used to make and within how many minutes did we sell out 
About 60. Just <sighs> just under an hour, actually. And Crazy. like, I came to grab my container to take home to like do pictures with and obviously test out. And uh, these are already spoken for. I had to get here before all these were gone. Literally, both of these shelves were full of protein and you guys ordered them all up. So by the time you watch this, these might be out of stock. I came here to let you guys know, but they might be gone. But double check the website just in case. I might comment down below if they're still here. But um, yeah. Good problems to have. Great problems to have, we'll take it, right? Hey man, that's why I love this, love it. Well, I'm glad we've had such a great launch. Very productive, man, we killed it, absolutely. I'm gonna have a protein bar today and I'll actually pay you for it. So that, that overnight in the jail cell was mm -hmm. not fun. That makes about two years of protein bars that you owe me for. <laughs> there was a guy in the cell named Pretty Ricky. I've heard Ooh, of him. The things he did weren't so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, protein bar. Let's see, which one do I want? Oh, got to go with one of these Sin Fits. I just love these ones. They're, oh, crap. Ooh, got to quit being so clumsy. I'm about to enjoy this. That angle's too wide. Hold on, let's switch. Much better. All right, it is about 5.20 p.m. and I am beat. We had leg day, we had cardio this morning, woke up at about 6 a.m., been uh, really trying to get up earlier and grind, and I made a post on Instagram yesterday that uh, I figured I'd share with you guys a little bit here. Basically, what I had to say was, uh, basically everything I did in that day. There was a monumental list of all the things I did, and uh, someone commented and they were like, how could you do all this in an eight hour day? And that's where I think the mindset is, uh, needs to be shifted, right? If you're trying to be an entrepreneur, if you're trying to go out and like start your own thing, the eight hour work day is kind of the bare minimum, right? My average work day I would say is probably 14 hours. Wake up at six and I usually don't get done until sometime in the evening with editing and everything going on. And if you wanna get or you wanna get in life, you gotta be willing to work those long hours, right? And like my mindset is work hard now while I'm younger, while I can work these young bones. That way when I'm older, like I'm established enough. And if I wanna put in those four or five hour work days, I wanna take a day off, it's not gonna matter because I'm grinding now so the rest of my life is good. So don't be afraid of a little bit of hard work. Game plan for tonight, I could just relax, but instead we're going to the gym. We're gonna shoot a promotional edit for Out Hustle. I'm actually working with another videographer that we have on like an internship right now. Basically like produces content for us and uh, trying to get hired on full time. So I'm gonna go kind of help him, kind of like do a behind the scenes look of that edit. So that's what we're gonna do. I heard it's gonna be pretty dope. Guess you'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna tell you guys something. I worked up a sweat just watching these guys work out. That's how we do it. <laughs> so now we are heading to Roosters, the hometown spot. We're gonna eat a little bit of food, so I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. This how you get hit. <laughs> Okay guys, food just got here. What I ordered was two full orders of grilled tenders. Trying to keep everything clean. I know it's a little loud in here. I would have everybody go over what they got, but there's too many people here. So, quick shout outs. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? All right, let's see. Dinner was a success. You feeling good? Three hours later. Yeah, I know. It's 11 o'clock at night. Your boy needs some sleep. <laughs> All right, well, I will see you guys tomorrow morning because I'm going to go home and get some shut-eye, and we're going to have a little talk. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tell him, man. A little talk. A <laughs> little talk. Th things are about to get real. <laughs> so put on your big boy pants and get ready. <laughs> things are about to go down. <laughs> see ya. Guys, it is time to have a little chat. First and foremost though, I wanna say a big shout out to everybody that supported the sale on rjfitapro.com. I know we don't have a lot of sizes left in stock, but you guys are swallowing up what we have left, which means the world to me. So if you have not stopped in and checked it out, rjfitapro.com, go to RGF20, saves you 20% off. I know we still got hats and we still got a lot of smalls, a lot of small sizes, just about everything in small. So if you're small, um, make some gains, 
but the best way to make gains is in an RJ Fit Apparel shirt. So what I wanted to do was talk to you guys about how I go out with my friends, still have good social time, but still stay lean, right? Still, hold on, give a quick app check. Boom, but still stay somewhat, you know, in good shape. Because when I talk to clients, I work with a lot of clients, one thing I always get is like, how am I gonna go out and still, you know, go out to dinner with my friends, go out and see people and uh, not cheat on my diet? And what I'm gonna tell you guys is basically three principles I follow. Anytime I go out to eat, I'm going to a restaurant where I know I can't necessarily, you know, bring food with me or something along those lines. I mean, if you're 100% serious, you can do that. But I believe in flexibility and balance in life, right? If I'm eating good all week and if I wanna go out on a Thursday night with my buddies, like you guys just seen and grab some food, I can do it in a smart way without blowing my diet and, you know, packing on pounds. So first thing that I recommend you do if you're going out to eat, especially at a restaurant that maybe you're not too familiar with their menu, is research ahead of time. So let's say, for instance, I get hit up by a buddy. And they're like, hey, I want you to meet me at this restaurant and I don't really know what they have. I will get online on their site and research and I will know exactly what I'm going to order order before I actually get there. And this keeps you from doing the thing that I've done a million times where you tell yourself you're gonna eat good, you get there, you look at the menu, then you kind of get flustered because you can't figure out what you want. Then the waiter comes and they go, hey, what do you wanna order? And you're like, um, cheese and bacon fries and the barbecue chicken. <laughs> and you, you just blow your diet, right? And it's so easy to do. A lot of the times I've binged and cheated at restaurants because I told myself when I got there, I was gonna look the menu over and then, you know, it kind of all spiraled out of control. So number one, research ahead of time. And then once you go to a restaurant, you find your favorite healthy meal to eat, then you know what to order when you go there. So rule number one, research ahead of time. Now my second little rule is what I like to call the caveman principle. So the way I like to think about this is if you're looking at a menu, right? Think about it in terms of like what a caveman would have been able to eat on that menu. I know I probably lost some of you, but here's what I mean by that. So if you think back, we did not have all the processed food and everything we have now. Basically, if you wanted to eat, you were eating what you could hunt, what you could gather. So look at it that way. If you're at a restaurant, right? Chicken, obviously, a caveman would have been able to procure that, right? That's an animal. Fruits, vegetables, salads, things like that, a caveman could have gotten. Now, if you think about cheese and bacon fries, right? That, that wasn't in back then. They weren't, they weren't whipping up cheese and bacon fries back then. Or if you think about like a roast beef sandwich, processed bread, things like that, right? Put your best foot forward here and choose like all natural things, right? It is so hard to overeat on clean, healthy food. So as long as you stick to that, even if you aren't tracking or logging, you really can't go wrong. Like when I go down to meet my dad, he lives a city away. When I drive down there, we always go to the same restaurant. What do I order? I don't normally track it in my fitness pal, but I'll get a steak, I'll get a baked potato, and I'll get some sort of vegetable, usually broccoli on the side. Can't go wrong with that. That is, I've never woken up the next day and gained weight or totally threw my diet off just by eating like that. So that is rule number two. And the rule number three, which I wanna say is probably one of the most important ones, and I've utilized this a ton, especially when I went to the Arnold Classic recently. By the way, if you didn't watch those videos, check them out. Those are some of my favorite videos ever. Super motivational, inspiring, all that stuff. But rule number three, eat before you go. And what I mean by that is, so essentially for the Arnold Classic, I'll just use that as a prime example. Before we left and went up to that expo, every single morning, I would whip, whip up an entire container of liquid egg whites, that's 50 grams of protein, I would eat an entire bag of frozen steam fresh asparagus, right? I know, doesn't sound appetizing. Throw a little salsa on it though, it's not too bad, but I eat that, minimal calories, I'm getting my veggies in, I'm getting protein in, my stomach is completely full and I am not hungry at all. So I went, when I went up there, I was way less likely to binge or eat anything bad. And the same thing goes with a restaurant, right? If I'm going out with my family and they're going to, let's use Olive Garden for example, right? Lots of pastas, a lot of things like that. I'm not really sure, I've never really tried to eat super clean there. But if I'm going out there and I know that like, I'm gonna kind of be forced to eat something bad, I'll eat before I go, I'm already full that way. Even if I went there and I wanted to go crazy and binge on stuff, I'm already full, so. Boom, there you go. <laughs> that is basically three principles I follow anytime I go out to eat. So I'm telling you guys, do that. Let's do a little recap. So number one, research ahead of time. Make sure you know what you're gonna eat before you get there. Two, caveman principles. Could a caveman have gotten it? If so, it's probably fine. It's not gonna throw your diet off too bad. And three, eat before you go. Boom, there we go. Those are my secrets to success. I've been following this for quite a while now and that allows me to go out with my friends, have social time, and not worry too much about breaking my diet, breaking my belly, whatever you wanna call it. So thank you guys, as always, for all the support. It has been incredible, especially with this stuff. In the last video, blew it up. Over a thousand comments with you guys' suggestions on the logo and everything. And after reading them, I figured out exactly what we're gonna do. So can't wait to announce the name and show you guys uh, what we got going on. Big things, guys, big things. So thank you once again and 
as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you'll be making better with that. We are out here in Smitty Remington James production. I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. Don't forget to get a shirt, all you small people. <laughs> see you guys.